Hey guys, so let's talk about circles. First we need to learn some vocabulary about the parts of a circle. So starting with the center of the circle here, the radius is just a line segment coming from the center of a circle to the edge of the circle. The diameter is just the radius times 2. It goes from one end of the circle to the other going through the middle. This also forms a semicircle, so a semicircle is just half the circle. A chord is kind of like the diameter, except it can't go through the middle of the circle. A tangent, a tangent point is formed by a line or a line segment that touches a circle in only one place, at only one point. Another fact about tangents is that if you were to draw a line from the center of the circle to the tangent point forms a right angle, which means that they're perpendicular to each other. A central angle is formed between two radii, so in this case, this could be a central angle. Minor arcs are formed when you also have two radii, kind of like a central angle, except the arc refers to the outside of the circle. A major arc is just the remainder of the arc, so a major arc could just be the circle, or the outside of the circle, minus the minor arc. And a sector is formed also when you have two radii, just consists of the area inside the circle. So just some basic formulas you're going to need to know about circles. To calculate the area, it's just pi, 3.14, times r, the radius, squared. To get the area of a sector, you just take the, area, the formula for the area of a circle and multiply it by what proportion of the circle you're looking for, which is the central angle divided by 360. So in this case, let's say we have a quarter of the circle here, represented by the 90 degree central angle here. The area of this sector is just 90 over 360, which is equal to 1 fourth times pi r squared. So a quarter of the area of the circle gets you the area of this sector. The circumference refers to the outer edge of the circle. And to calculate that length, it's just 2 pi r. To get the length of an arc, just like with the area of the sector, you just need to take the proportion of the circle you're looking for, the central angle, divided by 360, times the formula for circumference, 2 pi r. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this episode on circles. Here's some questions for you to review if you want to go over some more stuff on the topic. And like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and give the video a like if you found it helpful.